Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources invites other ministries slash agencies to accelerate electric vehicle conversion. The MEMR invites government ministries and institutions in Indonesia to participate in supporting the acceleration of the national program to implement battery-based electric motorized vehicles for road transportation, especially two-wheeled roadworthy operational vehicles with a book value of RP. Zero. To accelerate the implementation of two-wheeled KBLBB, the GSEN targets having as many as 13 million two-wheeled KBLBB units available by 2030. To realize this, the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources has initiated a program to convert fuel motorcycles into electric motorcycles. Based on preliminary data, it will be mostly motorcycles obtained for operational vehicles in ministries and agencies from the 2000 to 2010 and 2010 to 2019 periods. In 2021, 100 electric motorcycles for the MAMRA operational service, whose book value is already RP.0, were converted into electric motorcycles. The conversion is carried out at the Electricity Workshop of the Research and Development Center for Electricity Technology, New Energy, Renewable Energy, and Energy Conservation. This workshop has been certified as a workshop for installation, maintenance, and inspection of equipment for the installation of electric motor drive systems on motorized vehicles by the Ministry of Transportation. Pete Kipt has completed a 10,000-kilometer road test for endurance and testing at the Roadworthiness Testing Center and Motor Vehicle Certification. The BPKB slash STNK letter for motorcycles has also been adjusted at the traffic core of the Indonesian National Police. Dada Ankus Diana, the acting head of the MAM Research and Development Agency, explained that converting motorcycles saves users RP.2.78 million per year in fuel costs, not including the cost of changing the oil. If the current population of two-wheeled vehicles in Indonesia is 115 million BPS data 2020, then this program can generate fuel efficiency of RP.319 trillion per year and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 65 million tons of CO2. Meeting the 2030 XAN target of 13 million two-wheeled vehicles will potentially save RP.36 trillion per year in fuel and reduce Grok emissions by 7.5 million tons of CO2 e per year. The MAM will be a catalyst for the motorcycle conversion program and is ready to cooperate with other ministries slash agencies. The success of this program will open up the market and accelerate the pace of implementation in the community so that it will also stimulate the national economy by involving the micro, small and medium enterprise sectors and local industry. The government also targets 6 million two-wheeled vehicles being converted in the next five years. To achieve this, the MAM will propose a mandatory conversion program for operational vehicles of ministries slash agencies and local governments, which is budgeted in the state budget. If you need more information or consultation regarding this conversion program, feel free to drop us an email at info at skindalawfirm.com. Yeah.